Hi, I'm Christina and this is a book review of The Twyford Code by Janice Hallett. So this is her second novel and it's the second book that I've read by her. I read her debut novel, The Appeal, earlier this year and I absolutely loved that book. It was a definite five star read for me and it's now one of my favourite mystery novels of all time. So I went into this one with very high expectations and I have to say I was a bit disappointed and I was a bit underwhelmed actually. Now my favourite aspect of The Appeal, her debut novel, was its unique writing format. The whole book was presented as a pack of evidence given to two trainee lawyers and you're reading it along with them and I thought that was so unique, so innovative and it just absolutely worked for me and she's done it again here. She has another truly unique writing format and again it's my favourite aspect of this book and I think it's done really really well. So in this one we are first presented with a letter dated November 2021 and this is from an inspector to a professor and a iPhone has been found, a very old iPhone, and on initial inspection it looks like there's absolutely nothing on it at all. There's no images, there's no messages, and that all seems very strange. And then upon closer inspection they find out that there are lots of deleted audio files on it. And when they look at these audio files and recover them, it spans a time period of 11 weeks and they're dated from April 2019. And this iPhone is actually belongs to a man who is now a missing person. So the inspector is contacting the professor for his professional opinion. And that's how we read the book. We have all of these transcripts laid out in front of us. And as they are um, transcripts, there's a lot of times where the spelling doesn't completely make sense. So we have a character called Miss Isles and it's written as Miss Isles. And there's other things like that because obviously it's a transcription of an audio file. And yeah, I thought that was, a, again, another very unique writing format. And like I just said, it was my favourite aspect of the book. But then that's about all of the good things I can say, unfortunately. <laughs> so let's move on to the things I didn't like quite so much. So before I tell you about the things I didn't like, I will just give you a little feel for the story because that would help, wouldn't it? So our main character is a man in his early 50s. He's known most often as Smithy, but he's also known as Stephen and Little Smithy. Now he's just been released from prison from a relatively long stretch inside and whilst he was in prison he's had a lot of time to reflect upon his life and one of those reflections is what happened to his remedial English teacher Miss Isles. So when he was a boy he was on a bus and he found a book and in this book there was lots of strange markings on the side of it and the book was written by an author who has since been kind of disgraced and he gives this book to his English teacher and she looks at it and she believes there's some kind of secret code inside the book. And then they go on an unofficial school trip one day to Bournemouth to visit the house where the author had written the book. And on this school trip, Miss Isles disappears and she's never seen from ever again. And this is one of those things that Smithy has been ruminating over whilst he's been in prison. So when he gets out, he starts contacting his school friends that were with him in his remedial English class. And he starts trying to piece together what actually happened back then, what happened with the Twyford Code, and what does it mean? Does it even exist at all? And it was all very intriguing and I was very, very gripped by this story initially. I was 100% along for the ride on this one. And then he also meets a friendly librarian named Lucy and they go on lots of different adventures trying to discover the Twyford Code and piece together the disappearance of Miss Isles. Um, and I won't tell you any more than that. And I have to say, Initially, I was very intrigued, like I just said, and I was really enjoying it. But then it just, oh, it got a bit boring and a bit monotonous at times. And I just kind of found myself not 
particularly interested in where it was going or what was happening or anything about it at all and I think partly I wasn't really connected to any of the characters. I didn't warm to our main character very much and I think I just kind of lost interest along the way. I just kind of fell off, my interest levels just completely fell off from it. Um, so that was definitely a disappointment but I will say I completely did not know where this book was going. I did not guess the ending so many things in this I couldn't predict. I completely, on all the bases, I did not predict any of this. And I have to say, I do think it is very, very clever. It genuinely is a very clever book. I just don't think I appreciated it, unfortunately. A lot of the time I was thinking, this is all very far-fetched and it's all very unlikely and yeah, it was just affecting my enjoyment of it. And now looking back on it, having read the whole thing, I can admit it is very, very clever. Um, but did I enjoy it? Not really, <laughs> which is a shame. Um, I think it just didn't have the magic of her debut novel for me. I thought the appeal was just absolutely wonderful. And this one just kind of fell a bit flat in comparison. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what else really to say about it. It was very very clever and maybe if I had if I was enjoying it throughout the story I think this would have been another four or five star read for me but because I kind of read so much of this story and I wasn't enjoying it and I was just kind of waiting for it to be over so I could pick up another book um it would be unfair to give it a higher rating purely because I thought the ending was really clever. So this one is just a two star read for me and the longer it has been since I read this I have to say the more forgettable it is becoming. Um, so yeah just a bit of a disappointment. Um, I will absolutely 100% read whatever she writes next. Uh, so far it's been like a hit and a miss. Um, so yeah. <laughs> now I will say I would love to know what you thought of this one. Um, if you loved it, if you didn't like it so much, I'd love to know what you thought. And if you had predicted the ending, like, could you predict that? I have no idea. If you did predict it, then I, you definitely am a much better reader than me at things like that. But yeah, just the overwhelming kind of... It, sorry, it was just like an underwhelming feeling overall. I was just like, oh, is that it? But also... That was really clever but I obviously didn't appreciate it so yeah that was that one so thank you so much for watching I will link the video to my book review of the appeal just in case you're interested and please like the video if you liked it and if you would like to see more of me talking about books please do subscribe I'll see you in my next one bye